Hello everyone and welcome to DevScope channel. Today we are learning about the Power BI REST API and our main goals will be to get an overview of the API, learn about some useful endpoints and understand how we can leverage PowerShell to connect to the Power BI and automate some tasks. So, our entry point to learn about this technology is the Microsoft documentation about the Power BI REST API. If you look to the left, we have a bunch of different categories that lets us explore some objects in Power BI service. For instance, we have categories for datasets, we have categories for reports, we have categories, categories for groups, and groups are actually workspaces. And if we open a category, for instance datasets, we can see that we have a different endpoints that we can access. And they can, they can give us actions or they can list us objects in the Power BI service. So let's start by trying this endpoint, which is get datasets in group. So this endpoint, as we can see in the description, basically returns us a list of datasets from a specified workspace. And Power BI has this cool feature, which is try it, that if we click here, we need to sign in with our account. And now you can see that it asks us for some parameters to get this endpoint, which is the group ID. The group ID is basically the workspace ID. And we can get it by going to the Power BI service. And in the URL, after the groups, we have this ID that we are going to copy and paste here in the parameter. Now, if we click on Run, you see that we have a green response code and the endpoint returns us a list of datasets in a specified workspace. In this case, it's just this dataset and a bunch of other properties that we can use. So another useful endpoint is this one, refresh dataset in group. And as the description says, it triggers a refresh from a specified dataset from the specified workspace. And again, if we click on the try it button, we need to sign in. And now it asks us for two parameters, the group ID, which again is the workspace ID and the dataset ID. And these parameters, we can get them by open the dataset and the workspace ID again is after the slash groups. We can post it here and the dataset ID is after the dataset slash in the URL. We can post it here as well. And now if we click on run, you can see that we have a 202 response and our dataset is refreshed. So this API by itself, it's not really useful when you're using it in the browser. One way to leverage it is to use PowerShell to automate some tasks. So here we have a script that basically connects to the Power BI service and invokes a certain endpoint to get us some results. But the first thing we need to do to use this script is to actually inst install the a PowerShell module. We just need to open PowerShell and run it as an administrator. And now we need to post this command here to install the module. We press on A to run all. Okay, and the module is installed. So in this script, you can see that we have here an, an URL. And here, this parameter, we can get it by go to the Power BI API. And for instance, let's get here the get datasets in group. And here the endpoint, what we want to get is what is after my org. So we copy this and we put it in this script. 
and we need to replace this variable group ID with specified workspace ID. So we go again to the Power BI service, we copy the group ID, and paste it here. We'll save it. And now the first thing is going to happen is we're going to authenticate in the Power BI service. We choose the account we want. And as you can see, it returns us the list of data sets that are in the specified workspace. So that's it for today. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.